Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Oddworld, new and tasty. From where we last left off, we've learned that Abe and his friends are going to become me, then we're going to help Abe to escape to rescue his buddies, and now we're going to continue on from where we left off. As you know, as you can see here, there's a slug over there. Now, I'm going to get some away from the boss. Now let's see. <laughs> that works. <laughs> That's why I remember in the original episode, obviously, where there's a secret area right there, I think, where we have to get him facing, like, you know, the left side. Right, but, if he go, but if he goes... If you make... If you put a leaf when he's on the opposite side, it means he won't die. Let's see if this works. Ha! <laughs> 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 That's up for the slick, but not for me. <laughs> Okay, I've got the grenade left. That so means we should be alright in the world right here. Yeah. Nope. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> that always works. Okay, go then. Now! <laughs> now, what I did here was I did this thing called a chanting, which works when possessing these slakes. Yeah, he's I die. Oh, him. Oh, I was going to possess him and get him to go to the mines like I always do. And that is going to in a slow manner. Oh, I think the meat grinder was like over there and he was going to be my wife. Yeah, again, yeah, that always works. I don't think he's docking right down below. Okay. Now, the reason I'm doing this is okay. safety right here. So I can. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this without blowing the dockings up. Yeah, it worked! I mean, these. Those gloves are always a nuisance when it comes to chanting. I mean, always keep in mind that you can't always, you can't always chant whenever you see them. There we are. We're now back to where we were. Oh, that electrical game right there. With I'll show you what it does. Okay, got it. He said, got shocks, and the slick is boasting about my death. Well, let's okay. try again. Oh, look at him. They always boast them slicks. If I remember your name, honestly, whenever you pass these electrical gates, you you get, get zapped and you disappear. But here is here. This is different. Hey, hey did you hear that? One of them, the doctors just called Abe Stitch Lips. That's why I remember hearing him Abe Dexter when he was trying to stop the Dawkins from drinking Soulstorm Brew. If I remember rightly, really, in the bad ending of Abe Dexter, the other one of the Dawkins did call him Stitch Lips. He was like, "You, you're not going anywhere, Stitch Lips." And the other one, presumably Alf, was all like, You! You didn't save our buddies! <laughs> Sounded a little bit like Tappy Duck when he was speaking like that. 
Okay, there's two snakes right here, but those are talking words, like I know them in the original, if not the case. I know them in the original Ape Slicer, where there was them with talking words with the slicks around, but one of the tests you may remember is don't say hello when there's slicks are about. So if you do that, the Midoki will come up, uh, will come up, and this, one of the slicks will shoot him. Mm. <laughs> well, sneaky! I just blow up one of his buddies without him realizing. <laughs> Way fun to do this. There we go. Now we can get these people to come back later. I'm mean, getting shocked by the electrical gates it's like they like touching the overhead wires on the railway line. Follow me. Okay, let's go. Thank you. I have no idea where this takes me. The trap door. But. I'm not waiting around to find out. Yep, it's a one... It's a one pit... It's a one hit kill pit. <laughs> I know, I remember when I got Abe doing this in the original Apes, honestly, where he was always like, ah! Before you know it, boom! Oh, this is why I remember in the original Apes Odyssey with the slake being as a sniper, where every time I'm in a sight, I always end up getting shot. I got one way to get rid of him. This time there's nothing to do with Pat. Let's make him not the edge. Not me, sir. Imagine you need the Imperial style in Harry Potter. That could help, that would be way useful for him. Like, like Imperial! I have to admit that is, this is pretty funny. <laughs> Making the selects do stupid things. <laughs> I mean what will I have him do next? Jump out the window? Or drown themselves? Hello. Follow me. Okay. Uh, I need that one door again. Oh, there's a team here that hide in case there's slaves. Although in the original, I thought that there was like fence. Okay, there are no slaves around. Oh, there's one right here. Close one. Uh, 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 uh. You can see what he's got in his lower half. That is my current top hand. I mean, I like it better with the shadows. Uh, 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 uh. I have no idea what that is. Head that it is meant to be. No, 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 no. important right now, but it's important to change with a bad snake. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Um. I know as you may be aware, I've complete, I did my flight simulator video where I flew an American Airlines MD-80 from, from Dallas-Fort Worth to Chicago O'Hare Airport. And the reason I did that is because AA has basically phased out their MD-80 fleet in favor of like fuel-efficient aircraft. And also you remember in my last episode I did mention about Callum being poorly over the summer, but I reckon he should be okay now. Because uh, it's, like, it's like what my dad said, he says that According to Flirt was basically a tummy ache, uh, which I still don't. I don't know if I may have overheard that, but it might be. 
might, might have done that, but... Uh, I reckon he should be okay now. I mean, I, I, mean, I always worry about Callum whenever he's like, coming down into like, being poorly, because I always care about him. Yeah, where is it? Where is it from the Doctor I missed? Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I put him in the shadows. <laughs> Lily May. Everybody. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Ah, yeah. oh, finally. Got more health up to the slick back in me. Whoa, there's a USB you. mine right here. I remember them. It's all about, this is all about timing this wrong. Mm. You have to stop it. You have to press it when it's green. Mm. You see, if you press the red button, then. What, are yet? What am I talking right here? He's coming to my aid! Even though I've been blown up! <laughs> you see, he's doing it again! Let's try this again. I tend to do it when there's like... Hmm. ...the screen is on screen for one second. Hey, Tom! Hello, hello! Okay! Do it when the screen is on the record, they said. We have no choice. We have no time to react. I mean, this is a 2.5D, but game this game Whereas Abe's Odyssey is like a cinematic platformer, like for example, Heart of Darkness. I did. Let's play it in the past. Oh, that's quite handy without that slick noticing. Okay, but that slick and... Oh, it's just... Oh, I remember this, the grinding area from the original Ape's Odyssey, where every time I remember Ape to jump the edge, I always tend to get him hit on the head, and then he's like, ah! ah like, down to the grinders. <laughs> Oh, fuck on that! Made the slick in his head! <laughs> Made the meat, meat hit the slick head and he just went through the crunch! I can do the same thing to Abe right here. Nah, let's try again. Boom. Oh, look at that! It's very really up there way now. I mean, the problem with the slick here is they can't jump. Uh, oh, there's the mother uh, running in the background. Just oh, making sure there's no slick about. Hmm. Hey there. Follow me. Okay. I think I better get a new dog out of here. It's just in case, so that's what wakes up. Okay. Another day in the office. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was stupid. Oh, look at that moon talking again. Coming to my aid. Oh. Well, I think I should be a stun map, don't you? We get hit by those big riders. Oh, so I say meat. Let's try this again. Hello. Follow me. Okay, wait time already. Hold up. I mean, that was really dumb for me. Farting when <laughs> waking the slug up by farting. <laughs> oh. Wait for it then. Oh! He didn't suspect a thing. I don't think they should call Ava Spark much. <laughs> like I oh yeah, that was come out of the I actually got a movie of Thunderpants with Rupert Grint in it. Well, I know there's one Weasley in the Harry Potter films. 
uh, the reason I did that is because well, one of the characters in that film, Patrick Smash, had a problem with farting. So that's why he's been picked on next week. Right, uh, and the leaper which leads to from Zulak 1, which is here, to Zulak 2. I thought I'd get you a sneak peek of that. Yeah, that feels like a little strange. Maybe you can just need to like a button to farm. And there's that door that's shut off, but but that that that's particularly important for later on. In case you notice here, yeah, it's shut off in Zulak like two. But we'll come we'll come back to that later. I can get past the meat grinders again. Oh, that was close. And by the way, I did mention that it, New Tasty is, is 2.5D. I have to, this reminds me of another game I did let's play of called Pandemonium. That too is a cinematic that too is a 2.5D platformer. There we are, another section of Dr. Farms. Oh, this area is important for later when we come back. Oh, it's a slate right here. Be careful not to wait then. So there's one casualty? Did I, didn't one of the doctors already die, but did I? I think I just missed that. That doesn't matter anyway. Now, let's see if we can get that get rid of that slake. <laughs> yep, he didn't suspect a thing. <laughs> Oh, give it a him and he'd be none the wiser. There. There we go. Hmm. Nah, that's a bit of a... Let's keep doing that. Let's try this distance. There we go, that's one way of getting rid of him. Yeah, we need to, we need this grenade to get rid of these mines right here. Now this is very tricky. Oh yeah, that some meat grinders from the top and the bottom in these top doors. Wait, really, this is very tricky if you listen to this one, Told ya! Told ya it was tricky. This is a exact win, like, between that. This is all about timing. So we better hop to it! Oh dear, there's a slake up there. <laughs> oh, wait, I messed up. Let's see if I can get rid of him. There we go. <laughs> Time to get good like the day. Because I've been doing Call of Duty and in Doom 3. 
Finally, so all of my dock is free apart from one. Oh yeah, that turns off the meat blanket. Now we need to get out of here safely. Oh, here we go. Now, how are we going to get out of here? I know why. Here we are, we need to go back down. I guess we don't need the grenade anymore since we got rid of the mines. Here we are, we're now going into the stockyards, which is where I'm going to have to cut off right here. This, this cut seems different while I'm going to be this time, so let's see. Look at him! Oh! Look at them two scraps. They're like, what's up with him? Yeah, this is stockyards. Now that's what this is where we'll have to cut off right here. But don't worry, I'll continue on with this next time. And so until then, bye!